Hello everybody, this is Brian from Open Source Automation. In this video, I want to walk you all through the installation process. Um, there's been a lot of changes to the latest version, 0 0.3.7, um, to make it as streamlined and simple as possible. Uh, so let's get started. First thing it shows is the license agreement. Agree. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you the server installation process. Um, there's a, it's basically the same process for the client installation, but uh, there's a couple other, couple small things that need to be done. Um, but I'll show that in a separate video. So we're going to install the server here. Default to program files folder. You can change this if you want as your install folder. Click install. First thing it's going to do. Check to see if you have .NET 4.0 installed. If not, it's going to do it for you. Uh, at least open up the installer for you, and then uh, you can agree, and then click install. Now this takes a little bit of while, a little bit of time uh, to install. So I will set this down for now and come back when it's done. All right, the .NET 4.0 installation is complete. So we're just gonna click finish and now this is where the meat of the open source automation install happens it's doing a lot of stuff in the background configuration uh, mainly installing the MySQL database server um, it's doing it all in the background it doesn't require any user interaction um, configuring it all um, making sure it's all set up installing the database and stuff um, before we had some configuration that was required, um, we're trying to get rid of that as much as possible so it's as seamless as possible. Um, so right now it's configuring. Um, takes a few seconds for all this to happen. goes. Installation was successful. Um, it asks you whether or not you want to go ahead and start the service right away and we're going to click OK. And we're done. So from here on out there are other videos that will show you more on the usage of open source automation. Um, so I'm not going to cover that in detail in this video but I will show you just the basics of getting started. Um, first of all, it created some shortcuts in the start menu. Um, you can start with the manager. This will show you all the default base plugins that get installed with the, the main installation. You can look at them all here. Um, and you can enable them if you'd like. You can see that the service is running because we chose to do so at the end of the installation. Um, from here you can look at, you can open the GUI and get started with creating your own interface. Um, create a screen, call it main. Um, you're going to want to select images from the uh, images folder within the open source automation install folder. So there's a bunch of default images that kind of come with the system. Um, so I'll select one here. If you want to create any new images, you're need, you'll you should stick it in the images folder. So that shows up. We'll click add. There we go. We have our first screen. And from here, you can add controls, go open your tools, look at the object explorer, and all that. So uh, that basically shows the installation of the server install of open source automation. I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks.